Bali Bali is a movement. It's a wave that hopes to propel a significant change in the South African landscape. We know that so much in our country relies upon having a literate society, and so we've positioned ourselves as an accessible hub for any adult in South Africa who wants to get involved in building a culture of reading in the spaces where they are, be they homes, schools, or community spaces. And we call these literacy activists funder leaders. Our campaign is story powered. We use these stories to try and capture the public's imagination and build a network of caring, supportive role models who are connected, motivated, and equipped with the know-how as well as access to low-cost, high-quality reading materials to create opportunities for children to have regular and joyful interactions with books. Author Sindiba Magona once wrote that it's impossible to fall in love with someone you've never met before. If we want to make sure that children can learn to read for meaning by the age of 10, we need to make sure that they have opportunities to fall in love with books and stories. Our byline at Nalibali is that it starts with the story, and this is something we really live by. A good story is what turns the pages in a book. It's not the desire to decode. It's not the desire for improved phonemic awareness. These things are very important, of course, but if they are not telling stories to children that are meaningful and that are in the languages that children understand, then we're asking children to construct puzzles in their minds that never create pictures. Also, if we're not involving parents, pastors, postmen, painters, parking guards, pediatricians, pastry chefs, police, proofreaders, plumbers, poets, and quite frankly, the president, in creating opportunities to read wherever children are, then we are missing out on the potential of mobilizing a whole army against illiteracy. So with our collective cause now firmly and finally on the national development agenda, we are starting to see momentum building. And this is the golden hour for our sector. And there is going to be a great deal of growth. Some may know that Nalibali experienced very fast growth quite recently. When I joined the campaign in 2015, we had a team of around 30 people. Our payroll last month was 180 people. We started our year in 2015 with 12,500 children in, registered in 350 reading clubs. We closed off last year with 141,000 children registered in 4,800 reading clubs. But this growth took a huge toll on the team and therefore the organization. And while completely thrilling, it was very, very hard. So we're not unique. I've since read that this is totally par for the course when building a movement. But it's something that I think is really important to think about as different organizations Funda one day as well grow in, in this opportunity. So I would say do not underestimate the power of community. The vast majority of reading clubs are run by volunteers. And as an indication of the level of that commitment, if we value those adults' time at the minimum wage of 20 rand per hour, and we base it on frequency data, so how often do reading clubs meet, for how long are they meeting, when did they register, this annual contribution is would amount to over six million rand in the course of one year. And by no means perfect as a calculation, if we use the same data together with information we have with number of children registered at reading clubs, last year children spent an estimated 3.8 million hours at reading clubs in the Nalibali network, which is about 428 years. We are working to improve the quality of what actually happens in reading clubs because we know that some adults gravitate more towards games and songs than they do towards reading. But the point here really is that there is so much potential in partnering with everyday, ordinary South African superheroes to make change in our country. So my message to the president would be that this is such an amazing opportunity for nation building. There are indisputable inequalities in our society that have their roots in our apartheid history. But the desire for our children to have a life that is better than the one that we have is something that unites all South African parents. All parents. It's a shared goal that we can and should really rally around. And while your work has been cut out for you by your predecessor, Mr. President, arguably there are a few things more important for South Africa than building the very foundations of our educational system. And by doing so in a way that um, includes adults across the board, and not only teachers, you will be winning the hearts and minds of your citizens. Thank you.